<laughs> you can see I, I set more sky islands, so there's a whole bunch more sky islands. Good. Good. Hey, everybody, it's the G-Man back again with another really cool uh, utility for Terraria. This one's the Terra Custom Custom World Generator, which should allow you to uh, have a lot more fun and keep things interesting long after you've beat Terraria. Uh, in this case, there are a few different uh, world generators available, but this one is based on the normal Terraria world generation algorithm. It just gives you a lot more control. Uh, so you can do things like remove certain things to give yourself challenges, adjust the way ores spawn in your world, uh, add or remove certain features, uh, adjust the frequency or size of some of the mini biomes, uh, the terrain, um, the biome backgrounds that you see in the background when you're wandering through them. Uh, you can even choose whether to have Corruption Crimson, both, neither. Um, so anyway, first of all, I'll show you how to install it. It's Terra Custom. I'll give you the link in the description where to find it. Um, so you'll want to download this package. Inside there is a single little zip file, um, a single little exe, sorry. So then you'll want to go to your uh, Steam folder. Mine is in here under C drive, so Steam, Steam apps, Common, Terraria, and you'll want to put that executable in here. And I've already got it up and running. Um, you'll just want to run it from that folder. It ha actually has to be run from the Terraria installation folder. And so here we are, I'll just switch to that. And this is what you're gonna be greeted with. First of all, as usual, you would just choose your world size. Um, you can also, there's an extra thing you can add in to get even larger than the large size, but you're gonna need a lot of memory. That's gonna be linked from the, uh, the link for this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go with a medium. Uh, you can do the usual normal expert. I'll call this custom world. And here are the tons and tons of options. So again, there's terrain adjustments you can make. So you can adjust the service height variance, for instance, um, blah, 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 dungeon size. You can make a giant dungeon. You can make the beach um, smaller, larger. So you can have a giant dungeon run. You can adjust the size of the temple and the jungle temple, um, how many surface tunnels you want, which I always find fun. Uh, blah 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 blah. <laughs> you can even make it wider or hot or taller or you know less wide or less tall. Um, again, there's the the ores. You can actually choose which ores spawn, which ores don't. Um, so you can even have like instead of between, usually it's between one or the other. You can make it both here as well. You can choose which one or make it both. Um, you can uh, change the amount of each ore that spawns. Uh, there's also, there's all kinds of advanced settings. You're, you're going to want to explore it a little and have a little fun with it. Um, I'm not going to show you every single thing, but you'll notice some of these options. Uh, this is a new version, actually. There were older versions of this, which gave you some options. This one gives you more options, and it includes an integrated preview down in the corner. Uh, different styles of moon. You can uh, choose which style of trees. You can choose... Uh, a lot of things, actually. <laughs> so down from, from which graphics, because of course Terraria has different sets of graphics that it uses to keep things a little interesting. Um, so like when you're in the forest, it, again, it's giving you a preview of which background you're going to have. So you can choose that for your world, which is cool. And all of those are in there. Um, again, you can actually have corruption and crimson biomes. So... Here, by default, it's random, which I think uh, is actually both. I don't see a both setting that used to be in the older versions. I assume you're still able to do both. Um, so you can specifically choose Corruption Crimson. You can also do Corruption with Crimson Chasms and Crimson with Corruption Chasms. <laughs> but anyway, again, I'm not going to go into every single setting, but you can have this start automatically in hard mode if you want to. Um, you can have Pyramids which are a feature that's you know a little more rare. So if you want to make sure that you have one, you can also make sure the enchanted sword shrines actually give you real swords. Uh, you know, some of this stuff borders on cheating, but uh, anyway, I haven't used this before. This is the first time I've even started it up. So um, again, for challenges, you can also, the opposite of cheating, if you want to remove certain things to make it more difficult, you can disable certain things. You would set these to enable, a little confusing here, no tree enabled means 
you're disabling the trees. But anyway. <laughs> um, all right, so again, there's there's microbiomes. You can increase the number or decrease the number of each of the kind of like, you can have more enchanted sortrons, less uh, sky islands, more or less. Um, yeah, so I'm, I will show you like a quick example of how this is going to look. You can have like way more sky islands. You can have way more minecart tracks if you want to. Spider caves, granite caves, all that stuff. It's all in here. You just got to play around with it and choose what you want, really. Um, oh, there's even more pages to this. So you can have more uh, gemstone caves and stuff. So there's even, that's sort of almost an addition where you can have fancy gemstone caves instead of just regular gemstones. So, yeah, there's just tons and tons of stuff in here. Now, the older versions, there's other videos out there about the older versions that gave you, you know, a certain number of options. This one gives you even more. This is a 1.3.3 at this time. Um, you can add more traps, remove more traps. Um, various those things like trees and crystal hearts and stuff you can also have the world set that cer certain bosses are already defeated like if the game counts them as already defeated and same with the npcs you can say like these have been found already so as soon as you build houses they'll move in again things that can be a little bit cheating but these could be things that you want to set up a certain scenario um blah 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 <laughs> how many chests are in the world that kind of stuff and then once you've chosen all your options you just do create it does the usual uh creation routine as far as i can tell this is almost like a patched version of the the real terraria um generator like i'm i don't know where they got the code exactly i haven't read up on how this was developed but it is using essentially the the usual generation it's just tweaking it so it's going through the usual uh, process and at the end of the day you're just going to have a world that is like a normal terraria world but has more or less of certain things has more variety of certain things you know that kind of stuff so what i'll do is uh, as soon as this is done i'm going to show you what the generated world actually looks like in uh, terra firma the map viewer so this is almost done. I'm just going to switch to that as soon as this is done. Once it finishes, it's just going to take you back to the same menu. So you're just going to want to exit. <laughs> and we'll go over to uh, Terra Firma here. And I've got my different worlds in here, but uh, this one was custom world. And here we go. I didn't tweak it too, too much, but you can see I did do like the land height variation. So you can see there's bigger hills um bigger chasms and i think i made a bigger dungeon here somewhere <laughs> you can see I, I set more sky islands so there's a whole bunch more sky islands so there was corruption over there corruption over there there's the pyramid because i enabled the pyramid so that's something that's not always in there i did make the dungeon a lot bigger so you can see how huge that dungeon is that's in a medium world that's a gigantic dungeon um actually i'm noticing and I did increase the number of uh, sword shrines, so there are some more of those. I'm noticing, though, it did not put both Corruption and Crimson, so I guess maybe this version doesn't do that. Uh, I did increase the number of uh, surface uh, chasms, so there's more little surface accesses to the underground, like these two. So there's a lot of stuff you can play with. You can make what, worlds that would look a lot weirder than this one. <laughs> and, you know, that's going to keep it interesting with your... Uh, with your gameplay, of course, and uh, set yourself certain challenges, have some fun. Um, I don't think there's too much point in me loading this up in the game and showing you that, but I think you get the idea, and I'll keep it short, and I hope you liked the video, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions about this, put them in the comments. I'm uh, there to answer and, and help you out. Um, and otherwise, bye for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.